G. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and I am coming at you today with Finance Friday. So excited. Once a month, I bring you my Finance Friday video. If you are new, you just found the channel. I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you so much for coming back to another video. So if you did just find me normally on my channel, I am bringing you couponing videos all throughout the week. <sighs> There's the big guy literally barking at my husband who just pulled in the driveway. <laughs> you can't see him, but you heard him. All right, let's try to move on. I think he's not going to bark anymore. Um... I'm bringing you videos on how to save money at the drugstores and through rebate apps. So if you're looking for cash stuffing videos, you're only going to get that from me once a month. But if you want to save money, I would highly recommend you hitting that subscribe button because I bring you all kinds of ways to save money. So last month when I brought you my Finance Friday, I paid off all our credit cards so we are now credit card debt free there's the big guy he just backed up for any all that like to seek us there you go maybe he's gonna lay down um so super duper excited not only to have tackled that and i just feel so much better not having that debt um now this is gonna be my first month without putting like a big chunk of money on credit cards so it kind of was exciting and I was like, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> Unfortunately, something did come up. You know, it happens. Uh, we ended up getting a pretty sizable medical bill. Uh, we have a uh, high deductible insurance, which if you're familiar with that, you basically have to pay everything out of pocket. Uh, until you hit your deductible, which is like, I don't know, like $8,000 or something like that. So anyways, so incredibly grateful that we have the money. I'm going to pay half of it this month and half of it next month. And I'm going to tell you about some fun things we are going to start doing with now this extra money that I feel like I have because I'm not paying off these credit cards. So we're going to head to the kitchen table. We're going to get to stuffing some cash today. I'll update you on some progress and things like that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's get to the kitchen table and stuff some cash. All right. Here we are getting ready to stuff all of this cash. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Okay. If you are newer, I'm just going to give like a friendly recap here. But there is a link in the description box where I kind of go through my savings challenge. Um, and then my first few cash stuffing videos are in there as well. If you want to catch up and figure out what I'm doing, I am a 100% cashless spender. I know, so weird that I have all this cash. But when I found the Budget Mom on YouTube, she was a completely cash spender. Um, I basically implemented her system, but... I tweaked it to my preference and what would work for me because there is no right or wrong. You may not want all this cash, which is totally fine. You tweak it to your preference. So what I do is when the money comes in the bank account, I pay all my bills, I buy all my groceries, I do my everyday spending. I don't pull cash out for that. This cash is strictly for my savings challenge and my sinking funds. So there's no money here for paying utilities. There's no money here for paying the car payment, the mortgage payment, none of that. That stays in the bank account along with groceries. That all stays in the bank account and um, I pay, I use my debit card. But my biggest problem with budgeting was I would just swipe away the money with the debit card. And this has really, really changed things for me. I cannot believe in nine short months how much my finances have changed. And I track every single thing that comes out of our bank account. So I'm keeping constant track of it. So, all right, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to pay ourselves like we always do, which is going to be my savings challenge. So, you know, I've got my 
little box here that I got for free over at the CVS using the Hallmark CRTs. And we drew last month our four envelopes for our savings challenge. So we've got 54, 94, 28, and 14. So we are gonna stuff these and then I'm gonna tell you about this extra cash here and what we're gonna do with that. Um, so we'll just stuff 54 first and then of course we will draw our new envelopes. So 50, one, two, three, four. We are getting super close to finishing our savings challenge. Well, we got a few more months. Uh, 94, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm trying to figure out. It's not quite time yet, but I need to start thinking about what I want to do next year. 20... Why am I missing? Oh, I know what I did. I wanted to take, hang on, I gotta fix this. <laughs> two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna take two out of here and then I'll tell you about this in a minute. So, hang on. I was like, wait a second, I know I should have more 20s than that. All right, 20, five, six, seven, eight. All right, 25, 6, 7, 8. And then our last one is 14. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so we've got our savings challenge envelopes stuffed. We are going to put those right in the back with our other savings challenge envelopes and that have already been stuffed with cash. So excited. All right, I did this last month. I'm gonna try to do this every single month. I have an envelope here. I'm gonna put extra money in for the savings challenge so that when I open it at the end of the year and I count it, I'm gonna have more than I thought I would have. I do not recall what I put in there last month. Uh, and if you happen to remember, don't tell me. <laughs> I want to be surprised and I need to vary my amounts up so I just can't even remember, but I really can't remember. So we're putting this $100 bill right into our already stuffed savings challenge. All right, so we're gonna draw our envelopes for the next month's uh, savings challenge. So we're gonna draw two from the smaller ones, $8 and $44. And then we're gonna draw from the bigger envelopes. We're gonna go $52. And I'm just gonna draw the first one. Ooh, $92. Woo, that's gonna be a big one next month. 90, 50, 40, and eight. No, it'll be about the same. All right, so we're gonna put those right in the front. And my savings challenge is just to build up savings. I have no plans for this at this point. All right, let's talk about this extra wad of cash here and what it's from and what we're gonna do with it. Um, so I had a yard sale and I sold a whole bunch of my couponing stockpile, which was awesome. So here's all that money right here. And I didn't take 20s out of the bank because I knew I had 20s in here. So instead I took hundreds so that I would have less 20s. I didn't want a whole bunch of 20s. So this is from my yard sale. And then right after my yard sale, I had a customer that buys from me that ended up buying a $125 bundle. And then I posted a just a super small body wash bundle, which turned into uh, a $75 sale. So like the day after my yard sale, I made another $200. So 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 20, 40, 60, 82. And you guys, this was my first experience with Cash App. My one regular customer uh, only had $100 in cash and she asked me if I had Cash App and I know her, I've dealt with her several times. And so I just downloaded it real quick. And then my next customer that I posted a $10 bundle that ended up, turning into a $75 sale, also asked me if I had Cash App. 
I'll leave the link down in the description box for Cash App if you do, if you're one of my couponing people uh, and you do sell bundles, it's so dang easy. Uh, so that was that. All right, so here is my money from my yard sale. So you already know if you've been following, if not, uh, because I am a totally cashless spender, I never have cash. I wanted to do like an extra savings challenge. I only started this a few months ago, I think. But basically, if I ever have any extra ones or fives, I throw them into this. I have no idea how much I have. And I don't, like I said, because I'm a cashless spender, I don't get ones and fives a lot. It's really just from selling anytime I sell bundles. So these are the fives and the ones that I had from the yard sale. So I'm gonna throw these into this. I have no idea how much I have. So we're just going to stick that big wad in there. I think that was like in fives and ones, I might have had like 60 or $80. So I probably, I don't know, maybe got a couple hundred. I don't know. I'm, I just want to be surprised when we count it at the end of the year. So there's that. So all of this money that is left, I'm going to put right here in this cash tray so this is from my yard sale, and I think, well, we'll just count it. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. I have $890. This is going to get stuffed into a home improvement envelope. I am so excited. I'll tell you about a little project that I have planned. All right, so we're gonna start stuffing our envelopes. You know I have my two binders. I just ordered these right from Amazon. I just searched cash stuffing envelope system and picked two that I liked. So this is my first one that basically I touch every single month um, for any like type of, you'll see the type of expenses that I have. So I always put money away in miscellaneous because things always come up that I don't have like under a certain budget category. And so we're going to put 75 in miscellaneous and I've already used my money from last month. So 75 is going into miscellaneous. And the next is going to be fun. And this one is actually going to get a lot more than it normally gets because my husband and I, uh, are doing a bowling league again. So this this did not have very much. I actually took $90 out for some things, fun things for the girls. Uh, I'm gonna put $200 in this fun envelope. So we are gonna do, I wrote down what denominations I wanted. And we are gonna do two fives and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 ones. So we are putting $200 in here to basically pay for bowling. And um, if you're familiar with bowling, usually we do like 50 50 and mystery pot. So that's why I got all the ones. So I now should have $216 in bowling. So 51, 20, 40, 60. 80, 595, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 216 dollars in fun. Next is my giving envelope, and I'm just gonna put $20 in giving. And we should now have uh, what did I want to do in giving? Did I want to do yeah, two tens? So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110 in our giving envelope. Next is going to be home expenses. So anything we need for the home, like light bulbs or salt for the water softener or things like that. Um, and this is getting 75. And I did 50, 75. So we now should have 175. So 150, 75 in our home expense envelope. Next is beauty. That is strictly for um, any salon appointments. Getting my nails done, getting my hair done, getting the girl's hair done. And beauty, did I just wanna put, I wanted to mix this one up. 
I don't put any, I don't budget any money for toiletries or things like that because I coupon for all of that stuff. All right, so we've got one, two, 20, 40, 55, 65. So I've got 265. I have a hair appointment coming up soon. Oh my gosh, I haven't had my hair done since December. So I cannot wait. I've got some grays coming through that need to be covered up. Pet is going to get 200 today. Normally I only put 150. But I am going to put 200 today. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 85. And I didn't take my money out yet for Gus's medicine. So I need to do that from the beginning of the month. And I'm just, or the end of last month, I'm getting ready to order him new ones. Clothes got totally drained. I didn't even have enough in here. Uh, my husband had to buy a new suit uh, for his mother's funeral um and which was you know very very sad and and all of that stuff um I don't want to get sad right now <laughs> so we're not going to talk about it too much oh I just noticed you can see my ring light I'm trying to put some light on here to make it brighter um but he needs a suit for Grayson's wedding anyways holy crap I can't believe how much suits cost I only had a hundred dollars in the clothes budget yeah it was way more than that so I'm putting $100 in this month, so we now have $100. And then my debt envelope, I just need to replace this because y'all know I'm credit card debt free right now. Well, forever. So uh, I don't know. I might put that to use because I want to get um, the car paid off quicker. I think I'm going to start working on that in the next couple of months. All right, now we are going to move on to my envelope that is long-term that I do not touch every month. This one more has goals for it or that one's kind of just I put in there what I think we're going to need um or what I have extra so for Christmas today we are going to put $250 in Christmas and I'm just looking at my sheet yeah okay so we're going to do 250 in Christmas so this is starting to get bulked up which I'm so happy about all right, so we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one, two, three, fifty four, fifty five, five, six. So we have fifteen hundred and six dollars in Christmas. I don't even know how I ended up getting six dollars. I need to <laughs> I need to make that an even number. For gifts, love having this envelope. I just used it for my dad's birthday. We are gonna put two hundred and fifty dollars in gifts so we now should have uh 639 in gifts so there's one two three four five fifty seventy ninety six ten six thirty five six seven eight nine so 639 in gifts and then next is going to be card tabs and that is going to get fifty dollars that won't be due until May. And so I'll be super happy when the bill comes and I have all the money. So now it has $100. And then next is going to be home improvements. Oh my gosh, I'm getting some painting done. Uh, my whole house. So we've been here in this house for 10 years now. And we've never done any type of renovation or update on anything. My whole house, except for two rooms, uh, has wallpaper in every single room. And somebody that I used to work with that I dearly love started her own painting business. She'd been painting, doing odd jobs forever. And so I had her come over, measure every room, give me a quote, all of that good stuff. I knew it wasn't going to be cheap because the wallpaper has to come off. And that's just going to be a pain in itself. Um, so I'm going to start putting money away to get the house painted. So she's coming this month. She's going to start on two small rooms. And then before the end of the year, I want her to get my kitchen done and my dining room done. So painting is dang expensive. So we are going to put, I took $400 out, um, of our money. And then the eight ninety from the yard sale is going to go in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty, ninety. I wonder if I didn't do this. You know what? 
I don't know. I can't remember how I had this broken up. All right, so we've got 890. And I already had a little bit in here. So we now should have 1565. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one, two, three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety. Wait a second. Did I have already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Okay. One, two, three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety, five, ten. 530, 550, 565. All right, we've got $1,565 towards our painting. So excited. I'll take some before and after pictures and show you guys like literally wallpaper in every room. And I like wallpaper just fine, but literally in every room. <laughs> so we are upgrading and updating. Car insurance, normally I would just put like a one month worth but I have a little extra, so I'm going to put uh, $300 towards car insurance. So hopefully I can just get this one saved up quickly and then I won't have to worry about it. So one, two, three, four, 50, 70. So I now have 470 saved towards car insurance and my next six month bill will be due in February. Taxes is gonna get 400 today and I'll show you what, <laughs> show you what I did with this, kind of funny. Um, but I told you last month, I haven't done it yet. I need to open a separate bank account. But I was tired of having, I have too much cash. I'm actually going to take some of this cash out and put it in the bank. Um, so I already did that with my tax envelope. So what I did, <laughs> I got to order some 1K slips. I just went on the internet and printed some 1K slips. So I've got $2,000 here that's sitting in the bank. So I'll have those as placeholders. So now we have 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 58. So we have 2,800 for taxes. And next is going to be emergency fund. And I'm going to put $150 in emergency fund. So 1, 2, 50. I'm glad I didn't take that 50 out the other one. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, but all right. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one hundred, fifty, two hundred. So twelve hundred dollars in our emergency fund. And then next is car, and this is just any car maintenance that we may need, like oil changes, um, if we needed new tires, anything like that. So I am gonna put $100 in car maintenance today. And I'm just gonna do a $100 bill. So we now should have 340. So we got 152, 53, 2040. 340 in car maintenance. And then I had this little golf envelope for my husband. And you know what I didn't have? I did not have a vacation fund at all. And I have decided now that our, their credit cards are paid off, we need to start saving for a vacation. And so I kind of changed this to a vacation fund because he's basically done golfing for the season anyways. Uh, so I'm putting $100 in. So we now have $150 towards vacation. And then next is the wedding fund. And I actually had to pull some money out of the wedding fund. So, so grateful I got this. OMG, you guys. <sighs> Grayson texted me while I was at the yard sale and said, Mom, if you haven't booked your flight yet, they're super cheap. I was able to get four flights for $750. I was so happy. I had looked at flights a week earlier and it was going to be about $1,000, which I thought that was pretty good for four flights. $750 for four flights. So we we're all booked with our flights for um, the wedding. And I pulled that money out of here that I have been saving. And then I pulled some money out of here because I spent some on getting ready for her shower. So we are going to put $500. Oh, 
to see. How did I do this? I'll have to change this. I meant to put all hundreds. We are going to put $550 in this wedding fund, and this should be $550. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right. So now, after what I pulled out, because we did have 11. 65 in here so we now should have 865 with what i'm adding 1 2 3 4 5 20 40 60 86 20 40 60 87 20 40 60 88 20 30 40 50 65 8 65 all right so there you go that is what i have for my cash stuffing for this month Super duper excited about the progress. Uh, super excited about the home improvement plans that I'm going to be doing. I wish, uh, well, I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm so grateful that we have the money to pay that big medical bill. I think it's about $1,200. I was like, oh my gosh. Thank goodness it came at a time when all the credit cards were paid off. And I do have some extra money that I was going to put towards something a little bit more fun. But it's fine. So I'm going to pay a big chunk of that this month, and then I'll pay it the rest of it off next month. And uh, then hopefully we can get to doing some other fun things. And there you go. That's what I got for you today. I would love to hear your progress or anything that you're super excited to share. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye!